Yeah, so uh, this is it. Um, if you can imagine, I already cracked it open, but you know, it was closed. Um, you'll see a tab where the factory welded it across here. Um, they close it. One of these lifts are longer. They sandwich it closed, and then they, they throw a little weld bead here and a small weld bead here. I was again in the camera. Okay. I just took my grinder, angle grinder, and just ground off just enough material so I can crack it open with a screwdriver or a pneumatic hammer or something. Um, once I got it open, this is, and I opened it like a little, like a little Pac-Man. And then this is what I found inside. Um, I hope you can see that. Anyone who's curious, so you don't have to break yours open, I broke mine open. Um, there's three, obviously the factory takes three pieces the exhaust end, the intake end, and then this middle piece. So take a look. This is pretty much what's in there. It's a plate. Routes the exhaust. Nothing else in there. And then this is where, on, my, on this model, there was a specialty plate for my motor that goes on the back on an angle to attach it. It wraps around the motor. Um, and that's what these, uh, these are for here. But uh, this would be where the intake comes from your exhaust, comes in, hits this, hits a lump, perforations, goes through these three perforations again, through this box area, comes through, smaller perforations, some outer, larger holes, comes in this chamber, goes through those holes, comes out, and now you're, yeah, you can see, now you're seeing it comes up this way, and it goes into this, I don't know, I'm just going to call it like a baffle area, like a bone baffle. Comes in, it's smaller obviously, it's a reduced uh, thing. Comes in, goes through this perforated hole on this side, and then in through, back through that bone chamber, and out. And then, um, you know, obviously, this is the direction, you know, where you can mount it and whatever direction you want the exhaust to shoot out at, you know. So, and that's pretty much the internals of a Briggs and Stratton. This happens to be a 11 horsepower from the 80s uh, muffler. Um, well, what did I find inside? That was wrong. This. So I was a complete, I don't know, somebody must have shoved it <laughs> through <laughs> the exhaust hole, you know, like that, and got it in there somehow.